they found out who's the father, right? Who's their daddy? They finally found out who's their daddy. They got a new daddy, right? We call this um, um, new uh, boss meets the old boss or the new pope, same as the old pope. They have so much in common, all right? He talks like a man of peace. Right? And for a moment, it was almost like so-called dreamlike until you really wake up and say, wait, wait, what does the, the Word of God say about these things? Right? What does the Word of God say about this? It's very interesting that actually they have two popes. If you think about it, they have two popes. It's very, very, very interesting. He speaks like a lamb. Right, he speaks like a lamb. Right, but then what does Revelation thirteen eleven say? Um, you have to check out that um, that audio right there that we recorded earlier. After we um, watch this whole um, smoke thing and the whole ceremony, and you can see it right there. The new boss, same as the old boss. Now, what about the whole Petrus Romanus? It's there, but folks can't see it. They just can't see it. You know, they expected that he was going to call himself Petrus Romanus. But if you check out um, Francis, um, there's Sisi. I think he has Petros in that name. And the new boss, right? This is the new boss. And he is a... Italian. He's a Roman. And listen to the translation of his particular speech. You know what he says. He basically calls the people Roman, right? That they are Romans. So so this prophecy is 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 fulfilling. Revelation is fulfilling. Revelation reveals the truth. Revelation thirteen eleven. This is what we're witnessing right here. Can you overstand the mystery? Right? The Bible calls it the mystery of iniquity. Right? They're laughing. It's like one big joke. People don't see it. They got their whole narrative together. Right? But there's more to the story than meets the eye. So stay tuned. Shalom. Rastafari.